the midst of some pretty good things that Star Wars has put out in the last bunch of years, there's also been some pretty disappointing things. And even though different people have different opinions on this, one of the disappointing things to me was the Obi-Wan series. Uh, it started off, I thought, very well. I really liked the first episode, and then it kind of yeah, went to crap. Uh, for me, and and it had its highlights. Like I, the the Obi Wan Vader fight at the end blew my mind. I loved it. I mean, there's certain things about it that I liked, but overall, I was pretty disappointed with it. And there has been no word about another season. As a matter of fact, they even listed Obi Wan as a limited season as opposed to season one sort of thing. Well, there's still been a lot of talk about whether or not they could do another season, but now Obi Wan star himself, Hugh McGregor, is saying, as far as he knows right now. There's no plans for another one, even though he would love to do it. This comes to us from the folks at Deadline who wrote the following. I don't know. There's been no phone call to me from Lucasfilm or Disney saying, let's do another one. Obi-Wan was made as a limited series, and it's out, and people like it. Well, that's debatable. but And people like it, which I'm very, very pleased about. McGregor said he loved doing the series and said, I hope we get a chance to do another one, and I'm sure we will. I'm pretty sure, you know, I've got a few years yet before I'm the same age as Alec Guinness was in A New Hope, so there's still time to tell more stories in there. Now, look, let me be clear. Even though I ended up kind of disappointed with the Obi-Wan series... I still think Ewan McGregor is an awesome Obi-Wan. I, I mean, like, I, and I feel weird about saying this. When I now think about Obi-Wan, it isn't Alec Guinness who pops into my head. It's it's actually Ewan McGregor. Not saying Ewan McGregor is better than Alec Guinness. I'm just saying that's kind of now the imprint on me when, when I think about the character. And, you know, again, I always bring this up when Obi-Wan comes up, but there was that guy mm -hmm. online whose name I forget, but took the Obi-Wan series and said, this is a mess. And he re-edited it, moving some things around, taking a bunch of stuff out, and made it into a two-hour and 45-minute movie, and it was wildly better. Like, wildly better, the way he did that. And, and really, Obi-Wan should have been done as a movie. Rob, I don't think they're actually going to do an Obi-Wan season two. I, I think now they're going to have their eyes on new projects, new eras, things like that. Um so, look, is it impossible they could do another one? Absolutely not. Even though I was disappointed, there were still a bunch of people who liked Obi-Wan Season 1, and maybe they'll make a second one to appease them, and if they do, I'll be more than happy to check it out, but I don't think they will. What did you think about Ewan McGregor's comments saying they haven't told him anything about it, but that he'd like to do it? Will they do another one? What do you think? Well, you know, John, I think that the funny thing, that the problem that I really had with the Obi-Wan Kenobi series is they had to bring all these other Star Wars characters into it. You know, there's an Obi-Wan Kenobi novel that's great. And it tells a really interesting, really unique story that's set apart from the Skywalker saga. And I think one of the problems that Star Wars faces moving forward is not everything has to show us. I mean, Kenobi is not necessarily connected. You could tell a great story about a, a, a person in Ben Kenobi's situation that could be all new. There's no reason you have to tie it. Why hamstring it by tying it to other Star Wars stuff? It's a big universe. And I think, as you pointed out, I too think of Ewan McGregor, Ewan McGregor as Obi-Wan Kenobi. He grows into Alec Guinness, but he's been in a lot more movies now and a lot more screen time has been given to his version, which I think everybody unanimously loves. He's a great Obi-Wan Kenobi. So I would love to see a, another Kenobi series. I don't want to see anybody we've seen before. Tell me a brand new story about something that he has to deal with. I mean, if anything, maybe he has to go consult Yoda, you know, on Dagobah or something. But 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 give us a story that focuses on who and what Ben Kenobi is, what he's all about, and and don't you don't have to give us Vader. You don't have to give us the Empire even. Give us something else. If he goes on a spiritual quest or has to help help somebody else, it doesn't even have to be a Padawan or a Jedi. Something, you know, like, he's now like the man with no name. He's like a gunfighter coming into town to save the town from the evil. Make a Western. Give us Unforgiven. You know, give us Shane. Give us High Noon, even. Something that isn't Star Wars. I'm stoked. I hope they do it. I know they haven't said it. They are. But if anybody could w could handle making another Star Wars project that people would love, it's Ewan McGregor. You know, I remember thinking when they announced the show, I thought that's what they were going to do. I did too. I, I thought it was going to be while living on Tatooine and overseeing, you know, young thing, a, a message from an old friend comes through and he has to go off planet to go and, you know, so it, it becomes your traditional 
Western man with a gun in town sort of thing. He has yeah. to go off and try to save it. I thought it would be something like that. Now, don't get me wrong. I thought the young Leia, adorable. Sure. Like, I, 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 she was sweeter than a spoonful of sugar. I mean, she was adorable. I loved the final fight with Vader. I thought it was great to finally see the true power of Obi-Wan Kenobi, General Kenobi, unleashed. I thought that was really good. But I think you're 100% on the money. I think they would have served the, the, themselves better and Obi-Wan better had they just given him an isolated story. Yeah. And and made it more and maybe even just made it a movie instead of drawing it And it's it a out. big universe, man. Yeah. And they make it so small. Everything has to interconnect with things we've seen before. Show us something we haven't. But but bottom line though, are we going to get an Obi-Wan season 2? You know, I think we might. All right. I think we might. Guys, we want to take a moment to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. After years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by overpriced wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I heard that for a limited time, all Mint Mobile wireless plans are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan, I thought, what's the catch? But after talking to them, it all made sense. There isn't one. Mint Mobile's secret sauce is that they sell wireless services online. They cut out the cost of retail stores and pass those sweet savings on to you. And guys, you know, ever since since I switched over to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than one third on my wireless bills than I used to with one of the major carriers. So say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required, equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Guys, questions for you. What do you think about Hugh McGregor's comments here? He's saying nobody from Lucasfilm has talked to him about doing another season, but he would love to do it. Do you think they should do another one? Do you think they will? Those are two different questions. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.